Hello and welcome to this review of Keyframe Studio. Now I'm in templates because the templates really show what Keyframe Studio can do and how useful it can be. And I'm going to show you how I don't think it's that useful for my video. So we're going to compare and contrast those. So if I go to this one for television, you can see we've got Adam Sandberg and or Andy Sandberg as it's down here. And here we're flitting from person to person. So Keyframe Studio is great for repurposing existing video. What we can do is we can repurpose this landscape format into a shorts format for TikTok or YouTube. Now, if I click on this preview mode, we can see exactly what we would get when we render the video. So you can see the position is changing from speaker to speaker, and that is really what this is for. This is really the selling point of Keyframe Studio. So if I go down here, what I can do is it's on Adam Sandberg, but if I move over here onto Jimmy Kernel, then you see here we get a keyframe add and that's all you have to do. You just have to move the frame and a keyframe is automatically added. So I think that's really, really powerful. Over here, we can pick what type of target we want in terms of social media, maybe YouTube, Facebook, custom, and that effectively gives us the format that we want to use, be it portrait, landscape, square, etc. We can add things like text, so we can go and add text and titles. We can add in subtitles, and I'm gonna show you that in a moment. We can add in stickers, we can add in stock images, we can add in elements, shapes, waveforms. I'm gonna click here and add it as a new track. And let's just play and see what happens. <laughs> I, I found that I did not like the job. You didn't? <laughs> yeah. So there's our waveform. And we can change all these settings as well. We can add transitions in and transitions out. But I'm going to go back to Keyframe Studio at the start because I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to create a blank project. So I need to either upload my video, I can record video, which is interesting, or I can import it from YouTube. So I'm going to paste in a video URL here. And that's going to import my video from YouTube. I guess there's nothing to stop you using other people's videos. I don't think that's a great thing to do. So I'm just going to import my own videos. But theoretically, you can import other people's videos from YouTube. So I click on here and I'm going to add it as the main track. So this is a video that I made all about comparing wireless microphone systems. And I might want to make a short of it. So if I click that here, that's going to set my first keyframe. Now, what I can also do is I can add subtitles. So if I click generate subtitles, it's going to generate subtitles for me. Excellent. And it will put them in the video as well. So I'm going to come back once those subtitles have been generated. OK, so those subtitles have been generated. I can pick from a template. I'm going to pick that one. That's my preferred subtitle format. And all I need to do is click add subtitles to track. So I've got a subtitles track here. Let's just preview it to see what it's like. Ah, here we are, here are my subtitles. So it's important to say that things are going to be on auto only. So, the so I can move my subtitles up into the middle. And if I want, I can go and add sound effects. I can add royalty free music, stock, as I've said before, and I can give it a title. So what would be a good title? This one might be a good title. I'm going to create an overlay track and that hasn't done what I wanted. So I'm going to create a new track and I'm going to call this pairing wireless mics. And I'm just going to put it right at the top. That's where it's going to go right on my mouth. And I'm going to extend this out all the way to the end. Now, as this is a short, I want, don't want it to be any longer than one minute. One of the things that isn't very good is if I want to cut something out, if I want to cut a section out, I can go and do a cut by splitting here. It's not great for doing cut because you can only cut the main thing and then you should redo your subtitles. So get rid of those cuts. And I'm just gonna bring things down to be just under a minute so that it's suitable for YouTube shorts. I can see it's just just under one minute. So it's just suitable for YouTube shorts. So I'm gonna export that video and we go through the export process. Keyframe Studios cost $9 a month. And at the start of the video, I said why I thought Keyframe Studios was really good and why it doesn't really work for me. So you saw Keyframe Studios was best when you're flicking from one talker to the other. Well, all my videos, it's just me. I found before 
and I've talked about this, that it's not particularly good for cutting sections out for Keyframe Studio because you've got to set up your video first, you've got to do your chops and then you do your generation of subtitles. While the subtitles are very good, the titles are very good and, and all the elements are very good, Keyframe Studios just doesn't really work for me because of the type of videos I do. It would be great if I had a podcast where I had two guests in the same room or a guest in the same room, two speakers in the same room, you could say, and I flipped from one to the other, but I don't. While I think Keyframe Studios is very good and I think it's great value in the AppSumo deal for $18, I just don't think it's for me. That's just because of the type of videos I do. It doesn't really support those. But once the video has exported, you'll get to see it. Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to compare the DJI mic against the Ulanzi J12 and also against the Hapo Year. All three are wireless mic sets that have two microphones in them. The DJI mic will work with any camera. The Ulanzi J12 will work only with iOS devices because it's only got this iOS connector. And the Happy Years will only work with USB-C devices. Currently, you're listening to the DJI mic through the iPhone in cinematic mode. So it's important to say that things are going to be on auto only. So the camera is set to auto and the microphones are set to auto. And you're listening to the Ulanzi J12 on auto setting and there should be no noise reduction. So first of all, you heard the DJI mic. Now you're hearing the Ulanzi J12 and both of those have been recorded into the iPhone in cinematic mode. And now you're listening to the Hapo Year microphone and this is being recorded through